Hi there, my name is Jolo and welcome to TimeZack tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up a pre-order for any of your product. We can walk you through the process, helping you capture sales even when items are out of stock and perfectly gauge demand for future inventory. Let's get started. Just log into your TimeZack app and then on the left side just click on products and on the top right just click on the add product button. Now all of your items from Shopify will be listed here and you can add them by product, by collection, or by attributes. Let's click by product and let's try to add this item right here. And you notice all the variants are added as well, but you can actually just choose which of the variants you would like to add. And then click on the proceed button on the top right. Now under pre-order settings page, we have stock management and we have three options. We'll just use the first one because this is the commonly used uh, option. Pre-order only when out of stock. This means that once your item is zero in inventory, automatically the button will switch your pre-order. And once you restock that item and put one or above, automatically the button will switch back to add to cart. Now below under time period, you can also set a start date of when you want to your pre-order to start. Also, you can select a template and create a selling plan. Now let's just create a new selling plan. Under plan name, you can actually name this to whatever because this will not be visible uh, for your customers. You can name this to like a shipping date, collection, or campaign you're running. So let's try and put pre-order August, right? And then under selling plan name, this is a required field and whatever message you put here will be visible for your customers on the checkout and cart page. Now, under selling plan description, this is optional, but I would highly suggest to put a message here because it will also be visible for your customers on the product page below the pre-order button. Now, what you can do is copy um, the message you put here under selling plan name and paste it under selling plan description so that this message will be reinforced from the product page to the cart page to the checkout page. Now, below it is a shipping date. We have four options and each option corresponds to a fulfillment status of the order. If you put not set, the order status will be unfulfilled. If you put date and choose a specific date, the order status will be scheduled. If you put either period or interval, the order status will be on hold. Let's try and set it to not set first. And under billing policy, you have two options, full amount or partial payment. Discount, you can actually just put a discount here and this would automatically deduct or uh, be visible on the checkout page. Now under inventory policy, we have two options and the commonly used one is the on sale. Because with on sale, this would automatically deduct the unit purchase from your inventory. Right? Then hit the save button. And once you do that, all the items that you added will now be listed under the pre-order product list page. If you notice, only the ones that has zero stocks are active and the ones that still has stocks are pending. Now, if you want to check it on the website, just click on this view on store icon. It would lead you to your product page and there we go. The button is now on pre-order. So that's it. Thank you so much for choosing TimeZack and for watching. See you on the next video. Take care.